numbers one and two mm -hmm. are to the power. So they go to the plug on the other side, okay. the power plug, okay? Three and four actually go to the siren. So basically three and four here get connected to the siren, okay? Mm -hmm. Four, five, and six, and seven, all those go to the control panel, the keypad control panel on the other side. Okay. So that's what this is for. Okay. Now, number four is the uh, common ground. So that's where all the grounds are going to. Okay. Number five is the common power. It's common switch power. Okay. And that's where all the power is going to. That's why we have uh, two different power connections on there. Okay. All right? So, so far so good? Mm -hmm. All right. Now, seven and eight is zone one. Basically, it's, uh, what is it? It's a loop. So basically... Signal gets sent through here, then comes back in onto 8. So from 7 to 8, basically it's just a loop. Through the resistor? Yep, that is correct. Um, what is it? And the resistor I'm sorry, has 8 to be and out. 9. 8 and 9. Uh, is that correct? Yeah, 8 and 9. I'm sorry. 8 and 9 is one loop. And between that one zone and the other zone, the resistors have to be on the same side? Yeah, um, basically, if you take a look at the diagram, one tells you uh, in, or exit and then entrance of the resistor. So high means the power coming in, and then low is the resistor where it basically needs to go out. Okay. So that's what 8 and 9 and 10 and 11 are. They're the two same thing. You'll see that uh, it shows 10 with the resistor instead, and that's just because power is flowing through 11 and coming back into 10. Okay. So you got to make sure you follow the diagram and such like that. Now number 11 is our, um, our motion detector. Okay. If you'll notice, the motion detector requires power and ground. Okay. That's why it's tied into the common power and ground. And then it requires that same loop. So that's what that is right okay. there. And that's all the ones that we have there.